Hey there, tennis fans. I'm Grace Carter, and this is Tennis Now, presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today, and it ships today. Did you see it? The madness in Mexico? Alexander Zverev absolutely losing it after losing a doubles match. He went ballistic, beating his tennis racket against the umpire's chair. Zverev was the defending Acapulco champion in singles, but he was booted from the tournament after his tirade. Zverev was enraged by what he thought was bad line calls during the tiebreak. His team lost the breaker, and Zverev flew into a rage, smashing his racket repeatedly near the feet of the chair umpire. Fortunately, the umpire wasn't hurt, but Zverev had to pay the price for his horrible behavior. Afterward, he posted this apology on Instagram. The Olympic gold medal champion generated international headlines for the wrong reasons, leaving fellow players to assess his actions and the damage done. Novak Djokovic knows what it's like to lose his cool and get kicked out of a tournament. He was booted from the 2020 U.S. Open after unintentionally hitting a lineswoman in the throat with a ball. Novak says officials made the right call that Zverev's behavior was unacceptable and the disqualification was appropriate. He says hopefully Sasha will reflect on his actions and never let that kind of thing happen again. Rafa Nadal agrees and adds that the damage done reverberates far beyond Acapulco. Rafa points out that video and images of Sasha's attack went viral, sending the wrong message to kids who are the future of the sport. It all says players have to set a good example and they must show respect. Andy Murray also weighed in, acknowledging his own share of outbursts on the court. He called Zverev's behavior dangerous and reckless. He says he understands that a lot of athletes get very frustrated, including himself. However, ripping your tennis racket right next to the umpire multiple times, well, you just can't do that. Not a good look. So what happens next? Novak says he expects ATP management and officials will look at the video, will probably interview the chair umpire, take some time to decide Zverev's additional punishment, because this likely falls under the physical abuse rule in the ATP Code of Conduct, which reads, Players shall not at any time physically abuse any official, opponent, spectator, or other person within the precincts of the tournament site. For purposes of this rule, physical abuse is the unauthorized touching of an official, opponent, and spectator, or other person. Violation of this section shall subject a player to a fine of up to $20,000 for each violation. Now, Zverev also faces racket abuse, verbal abuse, and audible obscenity fines. Verbal abuse can result in a fine of up to $20,000. Audible obscenity can incur a fine of up to $5,000. Given Alexander Zverev has earned more than $30 million in career prize money, it's possible suspension rather than the fines would carry a bigger impact. But regardless of the penalty from the ATP, his reputation with fans and potential sponsors are really a big problem, and that could be costly. It was ugly and violent, and many tennis fans are now rehashing those domestic abuse claims made by his ex-girlfriend Olga Sharapova, who alleges years of abuse. This latest episode does not help Zverev's case, though Zverev has repeatedly denied the allegations. So we've heard from Zverev, tennis elite, and the ATP Code of Conduct. Now it's your turn. Should Zverev be fined, or do you think he should be suspended, or maybe both? What's the appropriate punishment for Alexander Zverev's tirade? And beyond that, can he recover from this with the fan base? Can you move past it, or are you done with Zverev? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and we'll see you next time.